The question is, whose word do you believe? Welcome to the Wednesday edition of the Daily Sports Update presented by Toyota here on CBSSports.com. I'm Amber Wilson. Slowly, the names in the 400-page Mitchell report have started to admit to various degrees of wrongdoing. First, it was Andy Pettit this past weekend admitting to using HGH in 2002, followed by Fernando Vina doing the same when he was trying to come back from an injury as well. Tuesday, it was Brian Roberts, who was implicated in the report, admitting to taking steroids once, saying it was a terrible mistake. But the biggest name in the pages of the Mitchell report continues to deny any doping. Seven-time Cy Young Award winner Roger Clemens continues to maintain his innocence after his former trainer in Toronto and New York, Brian McNamee, claimed to have injected Clemens with steroids and HGH in the report. Clemens hasn't made any public comment but did release a statement through his agent, Randy Hendricks, saying that he never took steroids or HGH and asking the public not to rush to judgment. McNamee's lawyer said in a statement that his client stands 100% behind the accuracy of the information that he supplied to investigators. The NFL released the 2008 Pro Bowl rosters on Tuesday with the usual suspects on their way to Hawaii. Of course, that means Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, LaDainian Tomlinson, Terrell Owens, Brett Favre, those guys are all on their way. But apparently the gift of sun and beach wasn't given to those who make their homes in the Sunshine State. The Jacksonville Jags and Tampa Bay Bucks, both playoff bound with 19 wins in between those two teams, will send exactly zero players to the Pro Bowl. Fred Taylor, who broke the 10,000-yard career mark on the ground this season, has never made a single Pro Bowl in his 10-year career. He was probably the biggest snub. He rushed for over 1,000 yards for the seventh time in his career while sharing time in the backfield with Maurice Jones-Drew. On the NFC side, Pro Bowl selectors honored the memory of Sean Taylor. Taylor, who died on November 27th after being shot during a burglary at his home in Florida, was voted as the starting free safety. Taylor was having an outstanding season and was one of the leading vote-getters by fans at the time of his death. Taylor is the first player to make an All-Star team posthumously since the 1986 NHL All-Star game when Pele Lindbergh was named after he had been killed in an auto accident. Well, it took three tries, but Rick Bettino finally did it. He became the 17th coach in Division I history to accumulate 500 wins. Bettino was stuck on 499 since December 1st when losses to Dayton and Purdue, but finally he got a signature win last night over the Marshall Thundering Herd, 85-75. And Tim Tebow continues to pick up the college football accolades. The 2007 Heisman Award winner was named AP Player of the Year as he once again edged out Arkansas's Darren McFadden. And next year's Heisman race already looks to have two early favorites right in the same general vicinity. As a sophomore, Tim Tebow has to come back for his junior season. But Central Florida's junior running back Kevin Smith had to weigh all of his decisions. And the country's leading rusher has decided to come back for his senior year. With 181 yards in the Liberty Bowl, Smith will break Barry Sanders' all-time single-season rush mark. As for the Gator Hotel Music City Bowl, well, who knows what's going to happen there. As Florida State could suspend up to 25 players for its season finale against Kentucky due to a cheating scandal. Head coach Bobby Bowden released a statement yesterday acknowledging that some players would not be traveling with the team due to academic issues. Some of those players not going to Memphis could also be suspended for the first three games of the 2008 season. For the latest on all of the bowls, keep it here on CBSSports.com. Jason Horowitz and I will preview all of the games leading up to the BCS National Championship game in New Orleans. That'll do it for now. Keep your mouth at CBSSports.com. I'm Amber Wilson.